Hey, hey, welcome to Don't Run With Scissors. I'm Kelly. I hope that I'm your favorite cheap driving, mom of twins, lawyer who likes to craft. Oh, and I have two crazy rescue dogs. I'm a rescue dog mama. Um, so my welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome, go ahead and hit the like button because it sends me messages and it boosts my self-esteem and who doesn't need that? So welcome to my crazy world. If you're new here, let's just start off warning you. I live in a very crazy world. It's a good world, but it's a busy, crazy world. So, I don't know if you guys, I don't think I told you last week, the boy child was sitting at a table with somebody who initially tested positive for COVID, now has since tested twice being negative for COVID, but because of everything and all the rules on campuses and stuff, we went and got tested for COVID. We're all negative. I still have whatever is the sinus thing from hell going down. Um, yeah, I took a three hour nap today. I think it was three hours. It was at least two hours um, because Bean forgot to wake me up. I have a pain in my side, sorry. Um, my big dog is looking at me funny. I think she thinks I have some more snacks, but I don't have snacks. She ate my dinner off my plate. Yeah. Yeah, you are a troublemaker, my beautiful girl. She was sick the last couple days. The only thing worse than a 100-pound dog having tummy sickness would be when your kids are little and they can't make like they just stand there and the vomit comes out because they don't know enough to go to the bathroom and lean forward and you have, like, who knew you had to teach your kids how to do that nobody warned me that that was something you'd have to teach a kid um yeah that's the only thing grosser than a dog being sick a big dog being sick yes i know it's my old lady so I watch, she, she's about nine years old, because she's a rescue, so we don't know exactly. Um, so nine for a big dog is, he's old. She's my senior, so when she gets sick, I get really worried. So she's a little spoiled. So come to find out if your dog has tummy troubles, you can feed them canned pumpkin. Not the pumpkin pie pumpkin, the actual just canned pumpkin. So she got rice and she got pumpkin and I normally do rice and chicken broth But a friend of mine who's a vet tech now. She's like you have to be careful because chicken broth has onion in it Most of them sure enough. I checked my labels All of them have onion and I went to the store because I had to buy pumpkin So I didn't have that on either and sorry Lizzie is moving the chair that's got the my ottoman that's got the computer on it um I didn't have pumpkin either, so I went to the store. All of them have onion in it. So she got rice and pumpkin. So she's feeling better. But she thinks she's about the size of the little dog. So the things a little dog can get away with, she's trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. So, um, so we had that adventure going down on top. Welcome to my world. Welcome. Yeah. So Friday the kids had eye doctor appointments and band concerts and tutoring and it was crazy. Saturday I went to, to do, I did the test, the little quizzes and stuff that were due by 11 and then there was a project due by 11. It's like, okay, can't be that hard of a project, right? I'm not even lying. I spent more than five hours on this project. This project is only worth 20 points. 
either I misunderstood and did way more than was required. Knock it off. Or the kids didn't do enough. Because yeah. So we'll see. But I didn't get all my homework done on Saturday. And usually on Sunday I kind of chill out. Maybe I'll do a house project or something. Work on painting because the kids go and play D&D. Lizzie, quiet. But I was still doing homework. And I did a little bit of homework in between client stuff today and running the kids back and forth to campus. And I met with the academic advising and apparently yeah. I may have credit for English 1510, but not for the next yeah. up English. Welcome to my world. Have you met my big ass dog? Go lay down. Go. So, really? So, the big, she, she's going to push the hassock so far away, you're not going to be able to see me. So, yeah, so I met with, I could, so I may have English, I may have to take an English class still cracks me up but we'll see I'm having them all of my official transcripts sent in so they can the team can whoever is supposed to do that kind of stuff. stop Go lay down. we'll try again it may go it's like a typewriter I'll just keep moving over and then I'll Bring it back like an old manual typewriter. So they're going to try and figure it out. Who knows? I, I may have to. I don't know. But the academic advisor was like, why are you taking these classes? Why does it matter? Um. So we'll see. I go back to the doctor on Wednesday about the sinus thing. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I've managed to bike and run, bike or run, some days both, now for, I think my streak is just over two weeks or right around two weeks now, so that's good. Tomorrow's a rest day, so I still count that, like, I'm following the plan, so it still counts on my track record, so we're, we're good. Um. So yeah. yeah. So yesterday I was gonna start writing my first issue of Stitch Life, kind of reintroduced, introducing myself to the magazine and everything, and people who don't know me, and kind of get it ball rolling again. And that didn't happen because I was doing homework. So yeah. So, it's all good, though. Um, so, yeah. So, that, that's kind of where we... But it's really cut into my stitching time. But that's okay. Like we still, I still have some stitching to show you. Um, the other thing I meant to do last week, and I forgot, is I reached... I'm now over 100 books for the year. And so, I'm going to do a good giveaway. I will buy you a book, be it an audio book um, or an ebook or an actual book book. Um, I will buy you a book. Um, as long as Amazon will ship it to you, I don't really care where you live because I have Amazon and Amazon goes just about anywhere, so wherever. But let me know your favorite book, include the word book with it um that said i'm not gonna buy you the entire like series of of what I, like it's a book so understand that like but i will get with a winner and i'll we'll figure it out um i mean i tell you i'd buy you my favorite book but 
I'd rather buy you a book that you know you're going to want, that you really want to read. So include book when you write it. Don't be over 18 because I need your address or your email. Don't say giveaway. Don't say prize. You know, all that stuff. Okay. So that said, we're, we're going to do that. The other thing that I forgot and I kept forgetting is I've hit the one year mark of my floss tube. So I'm going to do a giveaway and I will buy you a pattern. And so you and I, whoever, what I want to know is what kind of fabric you like. Do you, are you an Ada kind of person? Are you a linen? Are you an even weave? Are you like, what? Lizzie, nobody wants to hear your voice. You need to go lay down or go see the, the kids. So, uh, include the word fabric. That's the word I will look for. Um, and we'll figure out whatever your pattern that, you, you know, we'll find you a pattern. Um, because that's probably the easiest way to do it. Because I can, I could like say, hey, let's do this pattern. But maybe that's not something you ever wanted to stitch. Or that's not your, you know, I mean, I have weird, I stitch weird stuff. And I know that. Like, I don't stitch a lot of mainstream stuff. So whoever wins the pattern, just like the book, you and I will get together, we'll talk, we'll figure it out. Okay, so, but I want a prize. I want a prize from um, Denise at Black, Sti Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. If you don't follow Denise, you need to. She's a doll. She's so sweet. So, she's one of my favorite floss tubes that I always watch. So I've won other prizes from her. I think one other one. Maybe two. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I won them. It was very exciting, but I won again. And the first one I won, it's from Country Cottage Needleworks from the Santa's Village. And it is the Candy King Cottage. And it is super cute. I cannot wait to stitch it. And then the other one that I won is by Little Dub Designs, and it's Stationary Addict. And if you know me, you know that I have a pension. I love office supplies. I do. But it also came with a Gentle Arts Thread Pack. These are so pretty. They're so pretty. But these are my, this will be my first ever project with Fancy Floss. I've used Krynik. Um, I've used the alpaca, like fuzzy yarn. But I have never used Fancy Floss. This will be my first. So I'm very excited about that. Very excited. So thank you, Denise. That was, that, this is very cool. Um, and I cannot wait. I don't know when I'm going to start it, um, but I'm very excited about both of those. So the other thing that I, so I've got some haul and we'll do that first because I'm in my pile of things going down. It's just easier. So on, um, on Instagram, somebody had posted that I think that they were doing the tree skirt it's the 12 days of Christmas and I think it's a tree skirt um I'm not a big fan of the 12 days of Christmas like song I don't know it's just not my gig but what I noticed was this right here it's a 3d cross stitch connectivity set yes please so I put I, I did it's it's an older pattern um booklet and i put up on instagram on my instagram that i you know, hey does anybody have this or know what i can get a copy of it and i was directed to ebay and i got it it was like five bucks so at some point i will stitch that okay so oh here's my e asl vocabulary sheets 16 pages. Yeah. Um, 
The other thing, if okay, so while we're at this, I printed off. Oh, and apparently I printed off some legal documents too. Okay. Um. So if you, this is a cell, and it's we're in month nine. From Climbing Goats um, Studio on Etsy, she has a a group on Facebook. But that's the solar system that I'm doing for, with Bean. Um, so very cool. I finally printed off all my my charts there. Okay, so I bought a couple patterns. The first one is by My Darling Plum on Etsy. It's a Christmas pineapple. Um. My grandmother, we always played this song, and I, I, for the life of me right now, I can't say it. Um, and so I had to have the Christmas pineapple in the Maliki Maka. So why am I? Okay, so here's the other one that I bought. Um, and the, I actually bought this before, and then somebody on Instagram was saying, I was like, yeah, I, I need to do that. But what I wanted to do was add in the word oddism, which is, um, the belief that people who are hearing are better than people who are deaf. So I had said that and, um, it's birdie crossings on Etsy designed it. She was so sweet. She re she charted it for me because I showed her where I had bought it and everything. She added it and she sent me the pattern. She added it. How awesome is that? So I cannot wait to start that. So here's the other one that I bought. And you're either going to love this and think it's awesome or you're going to hate it and whatever. But I'm going to stitch it. It's by Kooky, K-O-O-K-Y, Cross Stitch on Etsy. And I forgot to print out the big cover sheet, but it's a traditional Quaker, but it includes Morse code. This is going to be a gift for a friend of mine because he's not going to realize that it's Morse code. And the Morse code is basically, well, it is the F word, Trump. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stitch that for him. He, I will have it so that he can get in his house and he will never know. And I think that's hysterical because that's just who I am. Um, he is an avid Trump supporter and we have very different political views. And yeah, so here's the, the only other thing that I bought that I know of um, just came and it is the Ocean ABC kit. And I, I'm kind of bummed that it's a kit, but whatever. It's by Design Works Craft. I got it off of Amazon because that actually was the cheapest place. How cute is that? However, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna Kelly Kelly uh, Kelly Kelly rise it and make my changes, and I will keep you posted on that. Again, I don't know when I'm going to start that, but whenever it was, it is, it will be glorious. So the only stitching I've done, honestly, because and this is the thing, these are stamp. It's a stamped cross stitch, and it's Pikachu with a tree and whatever. Um. It's easy because it. I don't have to count. I don't have to think. It's just, and it's big blocks of color. But we're making progress on Pikachu. I have finished the plum color. That's all finished. This green is finished. Um, and now I'm putting in, it's like a navy in here. And I'm working some of the yellow. Um, but we're, we're, we're working away at it. Um, I try to work on that every day at least a little bit. It really just depends on how I'm feeling and what else is going on. Um, I may work a little bit on it tonight, but honestly, I'm probably going to upload this and go to bed. Um, it's, I don't even know what time it is. It's 920 and I'm, yeah. So that's all I've done. I, I need to work on 99. I need to work on finishing, like close my circle for the Marine Corps emblem. Um, but I, I don't know. I make no guarantees. I have two other projects to do. 
So on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to upload this video. I hope everybody is doing well. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know down below or hit me up on Instagram at his princess Kelly. Um, and we'll go from there and go do something epic. Even if it's wake, if, if your epic is waking up and putting on matching clothes, I'm there for you. I will cheerlead for you all the way. So, um, yeah, so we'll go from there. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.